This slide goes more in depth focusing on sensory issues in children and I'll explain why I focused on that at the end. But anyway, so sensory modulation, just a quick recap because I always like the definitions there, is the ability to quickly evaluate incoming sensation and respond appropriately and parents see the impact of this when they're like early bonding with the kid trying to get them to sleep and eat and then sensory discrimination is the ability to accurately differentiate and label the two different senses coming in and praxis is the ability to generate ideas to form a plan but more importantly it's being able to problem solve when the plan is not effective and those last two are more apparent um, when the child's older and beginning beginning to form their ADLs um, but so Overall, the early identification is like the inconsolable baby, the one that cries all the time, and you can't really figure out why it's crying because it doesn't have to go to the bathroom, it just ate, etc. And an article I found through the AOTA talked about how it can be broken down into behavior, sleep, and eating. And behaviorally, you'll see increased tantrums, sensory seeking behaviors and aggressive behaviors to find their body. Um, sleeping, the child's gonna need a strict routine. That can be like the same parent has to put them to sleep, same pajamas, same sound, same time. And then eating, they can't coordinate the suck, swallow, breathe. And they can be defined as problem eaters, which are children that have less than 20 foods in their like eating palate. Um, but the sensory motor delays are not as subtle as the motor development ones. Motor development, you typically see, like, they physically can't do it, so it's not as hard for us to discriminate, but the sensory ones you can't really tell and usually take longer to diagnose, but that's like the sensitivity to their hands being touched and the avoiding tactile sensitivity so they're not going to crawl or reach out and touch things and they could get really upset like even putting them on the changing table because their head switching planes so I just thought it was cool and kind of went with our discussion board on um, knowing the developmental chart and this would just be a different way to look at that chart that wasn't motor.